Today, we're building this Shimano 400 FF derailleur. Some tools you're gonna need are some pliers, a pick, and an eight mil wrench. And by the way, I am missing a few things like the little clamp bolt and the claw hanger thing. So yeah. All right, now for the binnacle, you wanna grab your pliers or your pick, there's a little clip here, and you wanna just push them out like this. Once you push it out like this, you can also grab your pick and pick it out, or just keep pushing it out like this. And now just pull back and it should spring out like this and pull it off. All right, now for the pinnacle clip, very similar story. Just grab your pliers and pull it off. And just pull it back and it should spring out. There you go. All right, now everything's all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. For this, you can use some cleaner or degreaser. I like to use brake cleaner or acetone. If you have any rust, you can use some aluminum foil and water. You can also use vinegar for like a bolt that's super rusty. And if, and if you have any big chunky dirt, you can use a brush or steel brush. And remember, try not to damage these plastic covers. This, these are this one right here, because they're not really replaceable, so yeah. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner. All I'm using is water and dish soap. All right, now finally, everything is all nice and cleaned down. For some of the chrome parts, I use some of this quick glow wax. And for the aluminum uh, pinochle part, I use this mother's. Now for the assembly, another thing you're gonna need is grease. The first thing you wanna do, grease up this little inside of the pinochle, then you wanna grab your spring. Pretty straightforward how it goes on, just like that. Make sure it goes all the way down. Then you wanna put a little bit of grease on your little plastic bit. Find the little notch on the end here, slide it on. And then you want to grab your claw, line up the hole right here, put some grease on there as well, and slide it on. Here comes the tricky part. You want to push this claw all the way in, but you want to have this little tab go behind here. So you want to pull it like this, then push it all the way down like that. And you want to make sure this thing is all the way in at the same time to do this is to put two fingers right here make sure that make sure it goes through the plastic thing and you want to keep tension on the plastic part and then push it down like this so you want to make sure it's all the way down you got to really push it to get it through and you can also use a vice grip for this but i'm not going to do that and then once it's all the way through grab your clip and put it on There you go. Grease up the shaft as well, grease up the inside, outside. You also want to grease up your little plastic part. And now slide this thing on. Only really one way it goes. Make sure it goes all the way down like this. You want to grab your cage, you want to grease up the shaft as well. You want to grab your spring and you want to stick the short end right here into one of these two holes. The left one is the tighter one, right one is the looser one. I'm going to go with the tighter one. Make sure this part is greased up. Um, find the other hole in there and line it up with the pin on the spring make sure they're lined up make sure it engages all the way down like this now when your cage looks like this you want to grab it uh, make sure it's engaged first rotate it counterclockwise all the way around then find the pin push it all the way down like this once you got it right here push it all the way down now you want to put on your clip there you go now for the pulleys you want to put some grease on the bolt then you want to put some grease on the inside of the plastic part right here. You want to grab your metal bushing, slide it on, and put some grease on the inside of the metal bushing as well. Then grab your metal seals. Grab your metal seals and slide on your bolt. 
Same thing for the other pulley. Uh, you want to make sure they tighten down. Make sure they spin nice and smooth and put on your bail adjuster or clamp bolt if you have one in the little uh, claw thing. And now you have yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. There you go. Never mind, I found some. So yeah, not the best derailleur, but it has a little cable saver thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, the clips make it a lot harder to service, and if those plastic things degrade, then you're just screwed. But anyways, yeah, it's a pretty cool derailleur. Not many of these around, so yeah. Thanks to everyone who subbed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.